The United States economy gained 216,000 jobs. Unemployment kept steady at an historic 3.7%. There's no way to paint this as anything but good. By most metrics we use to measure the health of the economy, it is measurably better under Biden than it was under Trump. So the media are continuing to take this victory lap after Friday's historic jobs report. But a quick look under the hood reveals the ugly truth here. Ten out of the last 11 jobs reports were revised downward. That means lower numbers than initially reported. Now, what's the result? That means 439,000 fewer jobs in 2023 than we were told about. And since June, full-time jobs were down by 1.5 million. But we added 769,000 part-time workers. Joining me now, Larry Kudlow, Fox uh, News contributor, host of Kudlow on Fox Business. Larry, um, the people, darn it, just don't understand how good this economy is for them. Translate, please. <laughs> well, you've had a lot of downward revisions. It's very unusual. 20%, uh, 20% of the jobs growth in 2023 last year has now been revised out. 443,000 jobs. My guess is more is coming when the so-called benchmark revisions come. A lot of this, by the way, is coming out of small businesses. Uh, there's something called a birth death measure. I'm not going to go into it. The point is household employment in December fell by 700,000. That's mostly small businesses and the model that the Bureau of Labor Statistics uses, that is, the birth of new businesses versus the death of new businesses, that model's completely out of whack. It's just completely out of whack. And we didn't get those jobs in the first place, and yeah. the economy is not as strong. So that's the first point. Now, Larry, Paul Krugman, your buddy from The Times, is celebrating a problem solved. Watch. Could there be a recession in 2024? Who knows? Economists have a perfect track record on predicting recessions, which is we've never been right. Inflation is definitely basically a solved problem. It's all solved, Larry, just like the border is almost solved, right? <laughs> well, look at on this one, <laughs> there's a bigger disagreement. Look, inflation has come down in recent months. There's no question about that. But the trouble is, over the last three years, the CPI has gone up by 17 percent. Here's the issue, politically and economically. We have an affordability crisis because wages have only gone up by 14 percent. So real wages, worker wages, middle class wages after inflation have come down by 3 percent. Here's another way of looking at it. Average weekly earnings, OK, was $399 when Joe Biden uh, took office, and the most recent number is $380. So for three years, middle class folks have seen a decline of 19 bucks, or roughly 5 percent, 4.7 percent. That's the affordability problem. Prices of groceries, electricity, even gasoline. Uh, inflation has come down, the rate of inflation. But prices continue to rise. Over the period, the legacy of high inflation continues. Wages have not kept up. And that's why you see these polls. There was another one out today, Rasmussen. You know, 40, 45 percent of the people think they're worse off than they were three years ago. Well, they are worse that's off. That's Joe Biden's any... problem. Yeah, they are, they are worse yes, off, and the people they are. are they, the people are simply are. not buying any of this spin, and they're actually smarter than the Democrats uh, believe. Larry, great to see you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.